Now, this was only a simple card effect. There are several tons of complicated effects. If you look at something I've created, these are all complicated compared to something like Link. So we can take a look at some of these cards and how they function, how the effects function. Let's take this one. This is the first card that I made, so it's a good example to it. It has the card C numbering right here. That is the card's number. Then it has something to do with banish. Huh. So what did the effect say again? If this card is normal special summoned, you can banish two from your deck. Okay. And once per turn, you can special summon one void monster from your hand. Ah, oh, okay, it has those effects. So how do they translate into scripts? First, this one is something to do with the, the strings that I talked with earlier. So you would go into the string, write something there, and when you activate this effect, this is what it would show, show in replays or versus your opponent. It will be the little tiny box in the Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro. It'll only show for our, like a second or half a second. So it's really not that mandatory to have uh, descriptions on effects in here. But you, uh, I'll get to later again what more you can do with them. Then set count limit. This means how many times an effect can be used. If you simply have one here and you leave all this other stuff out, it means it's a soft once per turn. So that means it can be used once per card per the time it's on the field. Something like um, Stratos. Every time it's summoned, you can use the effect again and again and again and again. But uh, if it would have a continuous effect that it, you could use once uh, per turn, you could only use it once per card. The other stuff here, after this comma, is the card's number. This means it's limited to one activation per card. So I cannot use this effect more times per turn than I would like. So if you, I were to summon it several times a turn, I could only use it once. This second part uh, seals the deal, basically, and makes it check that it cannot be used in under any circumstance more than once per turn. Then a category, what type of effect it is. It's a category remove type effect, banish effect. Then set type, effect type trigger. It triggers when it's summoned. It's a forced trigger. This F could be O or F. O means optional, so you can choose yes or no when you summon it. F means it has to happen. And again, effect type single, it only uh, affects this card. Set code, events summon success. When it's summoned, it will activate this effect. Then the target, this means the target in the deck, what I'm gonna banish, and operation means it will carry out what I targeted in the target. Then local, E2, E1 clone, it checks if it's special summoned as well, not only from a normal summon, but only also from a special summon. Then another effect, special summon, it's set description, now that I look at this, I have to change this to one. It's not the same effect. Then set category. Can a category special summon. It's a special summon effect that you will special summon one from your hand. It's an ignition effect. This means you will activate it while it's face up on the field. This could uh, also apply if it was in the graveyard. Ignition effects are basically what you manually activate yourself. Then it needs to be in the monster zone in order to activate the effect. Set count limit is only one, so if I have several of this card on the field, each one of them could use this effect once. Then the target and operation. Now, the first set target. Let's scroll down and look at what it does. Huh, here's set target, okay. Dual is existing matching card. It checks if the card that I'm wanting to banish is in my deck. It checks for this filter. 
it's in my deck tp means turn player in my deck zero me uh, this is my deck this would be my opponent's deck if i wanted to banish from their deck then two means i need at least two monsters in the deck this could be one three two and then another nil then since i don't target cards in the deck i only target cards in the graveyard on the field or in the ba uh, banished zone sometimes you cannot dark well you can target but you don't usually target cards in your deck so that's it now this filter that it's looking for okay it will go uh the program will come in and say okay where is this filter oh it's right here so what does the filter say it says c is type monster yeah I only want to banish monsters. And is this set card? This is the archetype code that I talked in last video. And am I able to banish the card? If I cannot banish a card, of course I cannot activate this effect. For example, if Imperial Iron Wall was in play. After it has checked that these two cards that I want to banish are in my deck, it will go into the next function, Operation. It will say a little hint box, again, something that appears for half a second in Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro, that will say what I'm going to do next. Local, G select matching card. This uh, means that the variable G will be applied the select card that I want uh, to banish. And in this case, it's TP, so me, again, I'm doing it, C, TG filter. So it's within these parameters that I want to target the card. Again, another TP. My deck, not my opponent's deck. Then two cards and two. This could be one, two, if I wanted to banish one or two cards. This could be two, two. So it's two cards, no more, no less. Anything between those. Then nil again. If the get count, which means the targets that I uh, target, if it's less than two, then I return an end, which means this effect will not carry on. I cannot use this effect anymore. Then it will say dual remove, basically means dual banish, G, the cards that I assign to the variable, they are banished face up, and they are banished due to the reason of an effect. Now, the next effect. If this card is in my position, if it's uh, if the card is in my hand, and if it's specifically this filter, this filter, it's this set card, it's below level 4, and it can be special summoned. This effect is always uh, applied to cards that are special summoning cards. If you don't have this, it, you could special summon anything basically. But this is uh, to uh, apply to cards so that you can just take a card that can only be special summoned by uh, several ways. Or if you don't have this effect, it can also cause you that you can't special summon at all. Then it checks that my dual get location count M zone is bigger than zero. This means I have space on my field to sp summon it. I could, act if I put this, if I remove this, I could activate the effect and try to special summon it, but then it would error out since I don't have space on my field. And after this, it will say, and this also needs to be true. Dual is existing target in my hand this certain card and there needs to be at least one of them in my hand now since i've done this effect a little bit differently it will then say it will here apply to the g that i'm targeting this card in my hand now normally this whole part would be like this that you're targeting in the, in the operation, but since this was my first card, I did this differently than it was basically meant to be done. Then, 
again it will do the same check that it will apply to the G okay check this filter yeah it's that it's level yeah it's in my hand yeah one one yeah it, it's one card that I'm targeting yeah and then it will set the operation info I'm special summoning this master then in the next one it will say TC get first target this will apply the first target that I have uh, cho chose from here to the variable TC target card if TC is related to effect so it basically means if I can use it then dual special summon TC 0 TP TP false false position face up these falses can be changed to trues in different ways I have not exactly studied on uh, how it will affect the special summoning which will be the ignoring summoning conditions yada 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 kind of stuff but just keeping them false false will make it a normal special summon so that there's nothing special going on about it it will be special summon in position face up this means either in attack or defense you can choose yourself that was a pretty uh, complicated effect in the end some simple cards you can look at to get an idea of how searching effects is for example reinforcements of the army let's again check his script 32807846 open it it's a spell card so it has the category category two hand plus category search okay so it's adding it to my hand and I'm searching it for my deck so these are the two categories that you use now this set type effect type activate is only a thing for spells and traps this is used when they activate no monster effect is like this pendulum effects when the when you activate it as a pendulum scale by have this but this is mostly only reserved for spells and traps then set code event free chain there's nothing uh, funny going on in a chain link you can activate it freely then again a set target the target that I want to get for my deck and set operation the the process that it goes to to add it to my hand it will go into target it will check if I have a warrior in my deck see filter TP location deck 0 1 it's a level below 4 it's a race warrior and I'm able to add it to my hand if there was a mistake and I would not have this I could still add it to my hand since there's nothing stopping me then it will say dual set operation it's category two hand from the location deck it will then jump to the this could be operation or activate uh, a general rule of thumb is use operation for monster effects and activate for spells and traps but na the names of these target and activate don't matter at all you can name them dragon slayer 666 if you want just something that it will make sense when someone is looking at your effects and of course these can't be named the same these have to be named differently and they have to be named according to these what you have here if this was target one this would also have to be named target one if this was only target it would the computer would come from here it will check okay target one can I find it somewhere in here do, 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 do. no I cannot find it errors out so these have to be the same name here and here and this has to be the same name here and here then we'll it will check uh, again the small hint box uh, hint message add to hand then we ch uh, check the deck and select the matching card that we want to add to my, our hand with this filter filter again being here we add it from our deck not the opponent anywhere from the opponent one one only one card if the get count as in the card that we select is more than zero so we can actually add a card from our deck to hand that we've selected then dual send to hand 
G, G being the card that we selected, nil, since we're cards are not added uh, face up or face down or anything, it's just nil, and then reason effect. It's, it's added to our hand due to the reason of a card effect. Then we confirm this card to our opponent. Dual confirm card, one minus TP or one dash TP. This means uh, one dash TP means the opponent in every case. Then G, the card that we added to our hand, we show it to our opponent. Hey, I added this card, don't worry. And then we flip it back down to our hand so the opponent cannot see it. 